not cash because I thought it was a welcome change to um, the system as it is. I have also had, um, I wouldn't call it the good fortune, I'd call it the unfortunate position of having to prosecute aggressive panhandling, which was something that passed San Francisco in 2003. And I've seen how the system can work, and I've seen how the system cannot work. I wish that sit lie was what the proponents say that it is. Meaning if we pass sit lie, Hate Street will be the most beautiful corridor in San Francisco. The homeless will be gone, and it would be like the Wizard of Oz came through and with a magic wand and fixed it. That's not what it is. If I knew what the answer was, I would give it to you. I'm still working on it. I'm hoping to try to figure out some sort of uh, prosecutorial plus a community justice center plus service component, Project Homeless Connect, to make it work, but I can't support it as it is. Scott. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I support the sit lie measure. Uh, I think it is uh, it's certainly not a panacea, uh, but it is a step in the right direction in terms of making sure uh, that we're that everyone is able to use our public spaces, and that public spaces are not monopolized by some people, so that other people are not comfortable being in those public spaces. And I've taken a lot of heat and been called a lot of names for supporting this. Uh, but I think that it is the right thing to do, and I think that uh, the, some of the opponents say that, that it already exists and there are already enough tools. I don't think that's true, especially because the uh, current uh, statute uh, prohibiting blocking the sidewalk, um, at least as it's been implemented, requires that there be a citizen complaint, and a lot of citizens don't want to make a complaint because they're scared of retaliation. So if we combine that with providing people with access to services through something like the Community Justice Center, I think we'll have a good motion in the right direction of having safe public spaces. Thank you. Uh, Bill. Uh, I'm in full support of sit uh, It's part of a, I think any smart business, you kind of surround yourself with people that really know what is uh, what, what the best thing is. We've talked to Chief Gascon about this. We've talked to the police officers about it. They have said they need this to do their jobs. I'm not one to second guess the chief of police. I'm not one to second guess the police of what they actually need. I think they do an amazing job in our community, and I think it's something we need to support them on. Um, and I think that's uh, I think what Scott had said. I think it's completely true of everything that's in our in our in the Castro, Noe Valley, and Glen Park, and Diamond Heights. It's something. It, it is definitely a necessity. Yeah, fully support it. Raphael. <clears throat> I, I oppose sit lie. Sit lie will surely pass as every time the voters of San Francisco are given an opportunity uh, to vote against what we see happening on our sidewalks, they want to say that it's terrible and what's happening in our parks. And I share that. I believe that sidewalks are should be usable spaces, usable for all. Um, sometimes sitting on sidewalks is appropriate when it's, you know, grandpa and a little kid getting ice cream or whatever. Um, I think that we should have sidewalks and parks that everybody can use. And it'll be my priority on the Board of Supervisors to make sure or to move us toward closer towards that goal. But the reality is for the past 30 years, ever since uh, you know, the federal government disinvested in housing and the state government decided to pursue uh, mental health policies that are frankly crazy, we've had a proliferation of people on our sidewalks who need a lot of help. Um, and we probably can't solve the problem alone, but the measures we put on the ballot, the aggressive panhandling ban, ban of 2003, other me measures, they don't work. They are an erosion of our liberty. Um, and as a lawyer, I'm troubled by giving away liberty when I don't think I'm going to get something back. Thank you, Raphael. Um, so the next question.